This morning in today's kitchen, Italian pastries made easy. That's right, just like the guys in The Godfather. There's no dessert like a good creamy cannoli <laughs> and good advice. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. <laughs> Anyways, we have Bobby Malozzi here, pastry chef at Villa Italia in Schenectady, New York, to show us how easy it can be done. Bobby, good That's morning. right, Tiki, I'm so glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So now, what do we got here? Basic ingredients. Yes, basic for ingredients. A cannoli. For the cannoli shell. Which you've been doing for a long time. Your my family's whole life. been in this forever. Well, my Four generations? Yeah, uh, three three generations. generations, yeah. Uh, my parents, both immigrants from Italy, started here 40 years ago, and we've been in business ever since. Oh, excellent. So tell us how easy it can be. What do you start with? Well, here's what we've done. We've already prepared our cannoli dough, okay? Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's been sheeted out, what we call sheeted. If you, if you want to do this at home and you yeah. don't have any kind of special hey, machines. Okay, hey, whatever you say, you're an expert. I, I, you're an expert. And that's the has been the spur is a drip under pressure, <laughs> so hopefully I'm not one of those. But let me ask you this what yes. is in cannoli dough? Cannoli dough, flour, shortening, butter. Easy. Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's cocoa. So cinnamon. why is it so dark? What's well, the cocoa in the cinnamon? Oh, no, that's why it's special. Okay. Right, and you see how thin that is. It's yeah. very, very thin. That's what's going to give us that nice crispy so you shell. We rolled it out. And we then rolled it out, and we've shake. cut it with our cookie cutter. Mm. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush, and we have a little bit of egg here. Mm -hmm. Now see how we've staggered them like this? Because mm -hmm. we just want the tops to be painted. And what this egg is, it's, it's actually going to be the glue that holds that to the canola <laughs> form. It's like, Tiki, you are the glue that keeps this out of the program exactly, together. Exactly, exactly. I was wondering That's, how you got You're this. the egg wash. Now we're going to just keep them on the, the floor. Them stick together. The egg is the glue. Now okay. watch how simple. We're just going to mm. lift that up, over, roll it, and just give it a little press. That's nice. all so it stays That's together. It. And then you dip it into the... And then you put it yeah, in Yeah, well, you're not going to dip it. You're going to actually use these tongs because this oil is 350 degrees. So that that's pretty hot. Yeah, away. but I'm going to let you do this in a second, Ann. So really? Yes, pay I'm attention. I'm wearing white, honey. Attention. I don't have a name. I don't have and a name. I'm not I responsible for anything. I now, see how this like is it. going in? Mm. Very easy. You how hold long, it. How long do you keep it in there, Bobby? Well, you're going to look for color. This is, the, this is the final product here. So we're looking for that nice golden brown color. Yeah. Right. And you can see it's already starting so to bubble up. So each one you've got a hold like that? <laughs> yes, but this is if you're doing it at home for six, seven canola, that's fine. Yeah. It's it's easy. You can't you just know. let that go and put a whole bunch of them in there? I'm going to let you try it. Mm. And then when this is done, you're going to okay. slide it off onto that paper towel. Okay, that's why these things are Let's go over to the filling. Yeah. Oh, right. right. Now, what's, now, what's, what's in the, the filling? filling of a canola? The filling, very simple. Rigotta cheese. Mm -hmm. This is sheep's milk rigotta. Very oh, flavorful. Can uh, you confectioner's use sugar. You can, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And we've got some uh, crushed pistachios, orange peel, just for decoration at the end. So you just squeeze it into just a pastry squeeze. bag. Yeah, you want to squeeze it like that. Uh, a a little meter, uh, preferably. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, the you're coming back. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> back to Schenectady for you, my friend. <laughs> Okay. You can garnish them with whatever you want on top. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Away. That's pretty darn yeah, looking good. Seeds, if we're I must say. What's that? What? Chop pistachios, unsalted I pistachios. I can see you doing that at night. Yeah. I can see that. Ed is doing we great. We've heard of no. Steve Sharepa here. I can see Ed doing that at night when she goes home. Fantastic. Yeah. Stand there. Yeah. <laughs> so, Steve. Yes. What do you got going on here? Well, you know what? I, I, I just happened to, to be walking by. I smelled the cannolis. I said, well, let me say hello to that, everybody. You're always welcome But you're welcome making something here. completely different. Yes, I'm making shvuyadel. Let me hear you say that. Shvuyadel. Shvuyadel. That's, That's what a career ender, too. Close enough. Close, <laughs> close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. So here's how this, everyone's seen these folliatelles, especially you, Steve. You've yeah. been around these I've before. Made I've eaten a few in my day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's the log that we started with. It's it's rolled up. You can see the lines in there, almost like a, like a log. Would you freeze, up, freeze it overnight? No, you can freeze this yeah. overnight, absolutely. And you want to cut that while it's cold so it stays so together. You cut it while it's cold. Now watch this. You saw the layers. Look how easy this is. You're going to hold them like this. Take one. You're going to try this. All right, all right. And you're just going to start in the middle. Can I just eat it, it like this? Oh, you don't want to eat it like that. <laughs> Why are we wasting time? Let's eat it like this. Put that in my mouth, Natalie. Come on. What is this? Oh, oh, this is oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> You're opening it and turning it, opening, opening it and turning. Turn. See the layers are opening This is like a pizza. Perfect. Perfect. Suddenly we're going to have a pizza. What is this that you're putting inside of these? This is going to be our cream. This is our cream. This cream now, what is, is made this cream? with baked semolina, rigotta cheese. We have some candied orange, sugar, delicious. Now, is this a, your father or mother's recipe? This is my father's recipe. Father's recipe. Yes. Perfect. I don't want so to piss off your mom. Steve, <laughs> my, my mom is from Sicily, so we'll give her credit for the cannoli, which okay. are from Sicily. Steve, let's talk a little bit about the Sopranos. Yeah, come on, Steve. Last ah. year. Ah. 
How was it? I'm dead. I'm dead. No, Surprise going to be a great show. I don't know what's going on. Do you get a I, flashback? I honestly don't Do you at least get a flashback in the last episode? I, I, I don't. I, oh, you can't tell me. Right. Right. Oh, can I tell you something? I'm looking at you. I'm so glad. Now I believe in life after death. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a great show. I honestly don't know what's happening because I wasn't at the read through. So I, oh. I'm, I'm Sunday so night. I'm watching it. What did you say to David Chase when he showed up at your door? Did you know that? David Chase came and told me, like the grim reader, he said, I opened the door. He said, I guess you know why I'm here. I guess. It's never good news, right? you know Can you be like, maybe we should invite him to be a part of the Today Show? Hey. Now that I'm walking skinny, we need a fat guy. Anyway, Steve Schiffer, right. Bobby Malozzi, thanks for joining us this morning. Coming up next, one more song from Rihanna. That's back right after. Hello,